this series, we will embark on a 4-day journey to Vietnam's largest city, Ho Chi Minh City. Formerly known as Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City has risen from the ashes since the Vietnam War and now, it is the economic heart of Vietnam. So, na pang inihintay nyo? Tara, samahan nyo kami sa aming adventure! So, nandito na kami sa uh, Naiya Terminal 3 and papunta kami ng Ho Chi Minh. So, tapos na kami mag-check-in sa Cebu Pacific and papunta na kami immigration. So, na kami sa boarding area and natapos na rin kami sa immigration. Bale, it's already 9.45 and ang boarding time dapat namin is 9.50. Kaya lang, uh, sabi nung announcement is delayed daw. May waiting pang parking area at an update. So, eat-eat muna kami dito ng potato corner. So, later, kung pakunta na kami dun sa airplane, let's see. Bye. Na uh, delayed pa rin flight namin. So waiting na kami na almost up. Ano ba tayo? Ano ba ang flight natin? 9.50? So halos ano na 40 minutes na kami nag-isintay ng flight. Kasi wala daw ma-parking ng yung airplane. So still waiting here. Pero ano na, malapit kami ng port. Week, week. Okay. So excited to watch yung Saigon. Even though our flight was delayed, we still arrived at the airport on time. Before you get to the immigration, there are open kiosks where you can buy Vietnam SIM. Hello guys! So, nakarating na kami dito sa Tan Son Nat Airport, which is yung airport ng Ho Chi Minh. So, dito is, um, halos nakarating lang pala namin, pero ang bilis na dahil kahit delay. So we'll just wait sa aming grab papunta namin sa aming Airbnb. So let's go! So ayun nga pala, may papakilala pala kaming um, kasama namin sa aming trip today. Uh, the entire trip sa aming Ho Chi Minh. Ang aming friendly neighborhood, Alvin Bonkit. 
So, ano siya, Hello. friend namin ni Morel since ano ako, friend? Uh, friend, friend, ano ka, enemy. <laughs> friend namin since ano, Accenture days. So, yeah, since 2012, the legends, KDM King. <laughs> Yun lang, taga picture naming dalawa kasi wala kaming picture na dalawa lagi. So ayun, so keep waiting kami sa grab today. Bye. Hi. So nakarating na kami here in our Airbnb. And ano siya, apartment style yung napili namin since mura lang siya. Parang around 10k lang for 5 days. So, nasa first floor kami and samahan nyo ako pumasok here. Yes! So, we, you, ano, we use it, no? We choose yung two bedrooms. Para, since kasama namin ang beshi namin na si Alvin, para may solo moment siya. Nandun siya sa kabilang kwarto and doon kami sa kabila. Tapos may two Toilets then. Para tingi sa tingaming toilet. Para na kaya naman sa beshi namin. <laughs> so ayaw yun na yung toilet and then ito yung room namin. Para tama si beshi. <laughs> and si Alvin, yes. Ten K, right? Yeah, five days. English, yeah. English speaking. So, magkakaroon kayo dito, magkakayo on this same place. Yeah, tapos tingnan to, yung ang nakakabiglang luwang na lugar. Yung may dining area and living room. And pwede kang maglupasay dito. Oo, kahit dito ka na matulog. Oh. Agis pa rin. <laughs> tapos at tas may aircon lahat ng room. Ito, tatlong aircon to. Bawat room may ano, split type aircon. Okay? Yun lang, so magsisetta lang kami. Bye! With only 3 hours of sleep, we start off our Saigon Ho Chi Minh City Tour. First on our list is the Tanning Church or the Church of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. It was built by the French in 1876 and famous for its vibrant pink color. So today is our first day here in Ho Chi Minh and ito nga pala una namin pupuntahan ang Tanjin Catholic Church. So makikita nyo sa likod, pink na pink yung church. Ayun, so papasok kami dyan today at samahan nyo kami sa pagpasok. Let's go! Unfortunately, we didn't get to go inside the church since it was closed. The guard wouldn't even let us take a step inside the gate to take pictures around the area. This one's weird for a Catholic church. Alright, so now it's time to have some breakfast. We went to this local cafe that has a cool history and some hidden secrets. We serve an iconic South Vietnamese dish called broken rice. So next sa aming itinerary is kakain muna kami ng breakfast. So naglakad kami from uh, sa, dun sa simbahan mga siguro 7 minutes and then dito kami kakain sa Cafe Dofu. So cafe siya and I think may mga rice meals then. So let's go! sa dumating na order namin and ayun, ito nga daw kasing restaurant na to is pinupuntahan ng mga Korean during the Vietnam War and dito sila kumakain kaya makita nyo may mga kimchi and usually, ito, I mean tingnan nyo yung mga pagkain parang ano, related sa mga Korean cuisine so dito pala may mayro secret tunnel which is yung dinadaan nila pag ano, is parang secret ano pathway pa exit since yun nga ng Vietnam War is maraming mga kaganapan. So, kakainin, kakainin kami and mamaya pupunta kami sa channel. Mmm, matamis-tamis siya.
Earlier, I mentioned some secrets in this house. The staff showed us this one, a hidden floor compartment used to store contrabands during the war. for spies and uh, other currency. Yes, um, during the war, we use um, our old imperial currency, our new uh, North currency, which is what we use now, and okay. then um, the French and the uh, US dollar. Ah, yeah. okay. I That's why they used to fetch water. <laughs> 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 because it has a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like a little Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So ngayon, nandito na kami sa ano, secret pathway dito sa restaurant. So makikita nyo itong wardrobe na to. Sa loob nito is may secret pathway pababa sa exit ng ano, sa street at papuntang street. So, ito na siya. Kukun oh. natin siya. Ayan, so tapos na kami kumain. So papunta na kami next sa Independence Palace. And yun, after din namin tumingin dun sa secret tunnel. So let's go! What you do is mm -hmm. you kind of turn your legs sideways. You mm -hmm. kind of crap walk down. Mm -hmm. And it helps a lot more. Ah. <laughs> Amazing! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's one of these special letters from um, the South police, South Vietnam police. Mm. A special letter for this place. Yeah. So um, they were there were a lot of inspection from the French police. They, um, they went here. Um, they couldn't really find anything because of how uh, how well designed the place was. We used basically everything we had for, in the house to hide everything. So even even these, all of the wood pillars are hollow. So you can find stuff in there. The floor tiles, some floor tiles are can pop open, oh. and you can even hide stuff in there too. Oh. We just don't hide people. That's okay. the only thing. Just they can fit. Yeah. <laughs> they can fit. <laughs> are this uh, original writings? Yeah, this is original writing. Mm -hmm. So um, our general, uh, General Zap, he came here in 2005. Mm -hmm. So like after independence. So he before the independence during the war he already came here mm. as in as to operate to um, to run like um, operations but after the war and after a um, couple decades he came back here to like um, pay tribute to the owner because the war ended in I think 1975 yeah ah, okay So, nag, sa galing sa nag side trip muna kami before kami pumuntang Independence Palace. Sinsabi nung crew is, nandito daw nakalagay yung mga war relics na galing dun sa house na ginawang restaurant na kinaino namin late, kanina. So, pasok tayo sa loob. Let's go! The entrance to this museum is 50,000 dong. Here, you can see a personal collection of weapons and artifacts from the Vietnam War. Pasok na kami sa loob ng museum and ito makikita nyo yung mga war remnants. So sa likod ko yung mga baril na ginamit ng Vietnam War.
So, nandito na kami sa aming next location, which is yung Independence Palace. So, tawag din dito is Reunification Palace. And di namin, di ko masyado alam yung history. Pero ilalagay na lang ni Morel. So, let's go inside. Go! The Independence Palace or the Reunification Palace plays a significant role in Vietnam's history. This served as residence of the President of South Vietnam during the Vietnam War, but in April 1975, the palace was torn by the North Vietnamese tanks, which marked the end of the Vietnam War, and it reunified the North and the South. And and dito na tayo sa entrance. Let's go! Pasok na tayo! Once you're inside the palace, you can see how massive this place is. Rooms are decorated with fancy furnitures and artworks fit for a palace. Dito na kami ngayon sa second floor dito sa Independence Palace and nandito kami sa may terrace and sa likod ko makikita nyo yung uh, palace grounds. At the roof deck, you can see the helicopter used by the then President of the Republic of Vietnam. There are shops to buy souvenirs and cold drinks because it's really hot when you go here at noon. And ayan, tapos na kami maglibilt dito sa Independence Palace. And next is maglalunch muna kami. Let's go! Our next stop is Benton Street Food Market where we will eat lunch. It's just a 5 minutes walk from the palace. There are a lot of food options like Vietnamese, Korean, Thai food and many more. So, nakapunta na kami dito sa aming lunch, which is yung parang poker place. Malapit lang siya sa palace. So, walking distance lang siya. Sobrang lapit lang. So, iba-iba yung mga food nandito and bumili muna kami ng shake kasi sobrang inet. Oh, so, tikpan muna na pala natin. Sarap! <laughs> Refreshing! And eto na nga ang lunch na nabili namin. So, nagpaka-vegetarian si Morelli. May noodles and veggies. I don't know. Buncha. Buncha. Buncha menu. <laughs> Ito, banh mi. The usual. The masarap banh mi. Yes, I'm excited. Kaya Alvin, uh, ano, okay. kasi nasa Vietnam siya, so magko-Korean food siya. <laughs> so, <laughs> yan yung sa kanya. <laughs> yeah, Tokboki. Ah, ito na pala. Bisa mo lang sa akin. Okay. Bye. Kukulin ko lang yung dream.
Hello! So, after namin mag-lunch, pumunta kami dito sa War Remnants Museum. Bale, uh, around 10 minutes lang yung lakad namin from sa aming kinainan and papunta dito sa museum. And ayun, dito makikita nyo yung mga War Remnants ng Vietnam War. And at my back is yung fighter jet. Many, many fighter jets. Okay? So, samahan nyo kami. Pumasok! Let's go! The War Remnants Museum houses thousands of documents, photographs, and artifacts from the Vietnam War. Here, you can see accounts of the war from a Vietnamese point of view. And it's gut-wrenching to see the atrocities committed by the Americans and its allies are felt even up to this day. There's an exhibit in the museum that shows one of the worst war crimes carried out by the Americans, and that is Agent Orange. On a lighter note, we move on to our next destination, and that is the Notre Dame Cathedral. Eduardo! Ayaw ka na maglakad. Ang init! Biktima ng buko. Biktima ng buko! Si buko guy! Si buko guy! Napagbilan ng buko sa wala sa oras. So after namin pumunta sa war, Remnants Museum. So, naglakad kami papunta dito sa Notre Dame Cathedral. Yun nga lang, ano, nire-renovate siya so hindi pa kami makapasok dyan sa loob. And hindi pa definite kung kailan siya uh, matatapos yung renovation. So, eto siya!
So, nandito na kami sa aming next itinerary which is in Saigon Post Office. So, let's go! Papasok tayo! The Saigon Central Post Office is one of the oldest French colonial structures in Vietnam. This is said to be designed by Gustave Eiffel which is also the mine behind the Eiffel Tower. You can walk around the area and marvel at the beautiful architecture but other than that, there isn't much to do here. So after namin pumunta ng Central Office, buta naman kami dito sa Book Street and katabi lang siya nung Central Post Office. So come on! After chilling out at a nearby Highlands Coffee, next on our list is the Ho Chi Minh City Hop On Hop Off Bus. You can see the full ho ho experience on the link above. Ito na ang aming last na pupuntahan namin sa aming itinerary for our day one here in Ho Chi Minh which is yung City Hall ng Ho Chi Minh. And beside me is yung Ho Chi Minh, uh, ay yung Ho Chi Minh, statue ni Ho Chi Minh. So this ends our day one here in Ho Chi Minh. See you on our next vlog. Bye! It's our second day here in Vietnam, and in this video, we'll continue our Saigon Ho Chi Minh City Tour. So, ano pa ang hinihintay nyo? Tara, samahan nyo kami sa aming adventure! Hello and good morning everyone, and today is our day 2 here in Ho Chi Minh. And ano, kakain muna kami dito sa Little Hanoi, which is special pinila is yung egg coffee. So, let's go! Little Hanoi egg coffee is a highly rated hidden gem in Saigon. Their specialty is egg coffee, a Vietnamese coffee made of egg yolk, sugar, condensed milk, and robusta coffee. This is actually one of my favorite coffees. Yan, dumating na aming breakfast for today. Ito ay, ang pinili ito ni Morel, yung mango toast. So, yung mga mango and chia seeds above the bread. And then, ito sa akin, egg, ham, and cheese toast. Tabari, complete na siya kasi may kasamang fruits and veggies and salad and um, ito, fruits. So, ito yung binili namin ng mga drinks. Yung iced egg coffee and hot egg coffee. So, tikman natin. Tikman natin, guys. 
Mmm, sarap. Sobrang sarap. So, ayun. Tikman ng IP man natin itong next. Wait lang. Wait lang, ha? Drunk. Ang sarap. Wrong dessert. Wrong dessert is those. Ayun, masarap. Bagay pala yung mango and bread. So, ayun. Kakain muna kami. And, kain tayo ngayon. You better tell me what's going on. Come on now. Is you in love? Ooh, you can go about your business. Come on now. Go about your life. First on our list for today is the Saigon Museum of Fine Arts. You can see here paintings, sculptures, and works of art that are considered a national treasure. So if art is something that piques your interest, then this place is a must visit. So tapos na kami kumain ng breakfast and dumerecho kami dito sa Ho Chi Minh Fine Arts Museum. So malapit lang din siya sa breakfast uh, place namin. And ayun, ito na siya. Let's go! Maybe you can give me some information and tell me what you like. And here are some of the artworks that you will see in this museum. Tapos na namin explore ang Fine Arts Museum. And next on our itinerary is Chinese Temple. Let's go! Before we move on to our list, we went to Kong Cafe to quench our thirst on this hot sunny day. So, andito muna kami sa local cafe which is yung Kong Cafe. So, ito ang order namin is yung coconut coffee. Isa sa mga staple coffee here in Vietnam. So, chilling muna kami habang nagbabiyahe dito. <laughs> Outside? Outside. Yeah, with the small chairs. Actually, I do not drink coffee, so I chose this one. Very refreshing. Anong tawag dyan? Di alam. Orange with... Si cinnamon. Cinnamon. Chutoring. <laughs> Chutoring style kami. Ano mo nga? Pero I prefer na medyo mas. Yeah. Ikaw, ikaw. Anong prefer preference? Preference ko. Coconut coffee. I love coconut coffee. <laughs> yeah. Inom muna. Sweet, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Next on our itinerary is Vietnam's largest Chinatown, Solon. We'll be visiting two temples. First is the Batian House Temple and then the 10,000 Buddha Temple. And ngayon, nandito na kami sa aming second location here in Chinatown, which is yung Batian Temple. So ngayon, samahan nyo kami pumasok dito sa loob ng temple. Let's go! The Tian Hao Temple is a Chinese temple dedicated to the Chinese goddess of the sea, Mazu. Here are the things that you will see in this temple. Now, 
We're going to the second temple, which is the 10,000 Buddha Temple. And nakarating na kami dito sa aming third destination, and which is the 10,000 Temple. So makikita niyo sa likod, sobrang taas ng temple. Sabi nila is nasa taas daw yung mga Buddha, sa pinatoktok. So let's go! This temple is located in a hidden alley that's probably one of the reasons why this is over and overlooked by tourists. There are four floors in this building and on the fourth floor is the main hall. It is said that there is indeed 10,000 Buddha statues covering the walls of the main hall. After namin pumunta sa 10,000 Temple, kakain muna kami ng lunch and pumunta kami dito sa Hong Kong style restaurant. So we're gonna eat Chinese food here in Chinatown. So yung in order na namin is mga, ano ba tawag dito? Uh, wonton soup. soup. Different kinds of wonton soup. Sa kanya beef, sa amin dim sum and pork. Okay? So kain muna kami. This noodle soup was amazing, and these dumplings are probably one of the best dumplings I've had. Ayan, tapos na kami kumain dito sa Hong Kong style restaurant. And papunta na kami sa Bentan Market. Let's go! at our next location which is yung Bentan Market. So here bibili kami siguro ng mga souvenirs or any items na nakikita dito sa Vietnam. So samahan niyo kami. Let's go. Bentan Market is probably Saigon's most famous market and one of its top attractions. You can buy almost anything here from souvenirs, clothes, knockoff designer bags, shoes and a lot more. Being here feels like you're in Manila's Divisoria or 168. Vendors would shout, Ate, kuya, bili na. Be sure to ready your haggling skills. Pumasok kami sa Takashiyama Mall para lang siyang Gloria Tamul sa Pinas and 
Pumili lang ako ng Pandora. <laughs> Vietnam exclusive na charm. There, 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 there. <laughs> okay, ibot libo tayo dito. Let's go. We strolled around, bought some food and drinks, and then we move on to our next destination. A few kilometers away from the mall is Vietnam's tallest building and the 17th tallest building in the world, Landmark 81. And ngayon, nandito naman tayo sa Landmark 81. And sa taas, makikita natin ang overlooking nitong Ho Chi Minh. Tara, punta tayo sa lo taas kung ano makikita natin doon. Let's go! There is a hack if you want to save a little bit of money. Instead of purchasing the ticket to the observation deck, tell the receptionist that you're going to the blank lounge. You just need to buy one drink per person which starts at around $9. You can enjoy the amazing view while sipping your beverage of choice. Andito na kami ngayon sa Blanc Lounge which is located at the 75th floor of the Landmark 81. So dito makikita nyo yung overlooking view ng Ho Chi Minh. And yun nga pala, binigyan pala tayo kami ng welcome drink. Tadam! Pero yun, pag pupunta kayo dito, required kayong bumili ng kahit isang drink each person. So ayun, look at the view! Sulit na rin! Our last stop for the day is Bak Dang Wharf, a recreational area on the banks of Saigon River. Hello! So, nandito kami ngayon sa Bak Dang Wharf. And sa likod ko is yung Saigon River. So, tingnan natin kung makakapasok tayo sa boat ngayon. Let's go! na kami sasakay ng boat since mahal yung uh, napuntahan namin na fee. So, around 200,000 dong siya. So, magsistay muna kami around dito and para siyang Rojas Boulevard ng Pilipinas. And, eh, papakita na lang namin yung uh, busy street here around the area and uh, many, many ano, cars around here. <laughs> Ayun! So, see you on our next vlog. And yun nga pala! Papakita namin sa next vlog is yung Kuchi Tunnel and Mekong River. So, watch out! So, bye!
It's our third day here in Vietnam, and today, we will embark on a journey to Ho Chi Minh City's Kuchi Tunnels and Mekong River. This tour will be in two parts, and in this video, we will take you an historical tour to the Kuchi Tunnels. So, ano pang hinihintay nyo? Tara, samaan nyo kami sa aming adventure! Hello guys! So, ngayon, nandito kami sa harap ng uh, travel agency and waiting kami sa tour ng papunta ng Kuchi Tunnel and Mekong River. So, ano, waiting kami and we'll see ko ano makikita natin doon. Hello, so pupunta na kami sa Kuchi and Mekong Tour. Pero waiting pa kami sa mga iba pang pasahero. So, we are so excited. Yay! See you later. See you. You know, this tour is a bit rushed, right? Because the Kuchi Tunnel and Mekong Delta is opposite side. From here, we go to the Kuchi Tunnel. It took around two hours. But here it's uh, now it's early morning, so I think it's around one and a half hour. It's good. And then we can finish the turn over there. We will sit, get back to the car. We go to Mekong Delta around two or two and a half hour. Depends on the traffic at no time. Okay? And we can have lunch in Mekong Delta. We will go there around one and a half hour, but after one hour, we can have a rest stop. We will visit the factory of the handicapped people. They make the lacquerware. Have you heard about lacquerware? No one knows about lacquerware, right? You can go there and see what is lacquerware. It's made by the handicapped people who don't have enough legs, don't have enough hand or something. It's just made everything by the hand. And then when you go there, if you see some handicapped people or disabled people, don't look at them so much. You can talk to them, you can say anything, but don't look at them too much. Yes, they will be sad about that. And then you can have a toilet or breakfast, you can buy some drink over there. And then we go straight to the tunnel around 30 minutes more. And what will we do? We will explore the original side of the tunnel. We just go inside to have a look. We can see what is the original side, how small is the tunnel. It's at around 30 cm and wide around 30 cm as well. So we just go inside to have a look and then we come out. And then we can go pass by the shooting area. Have you ever tried the gun before? Never tried? Let's see the blade only in Vietnam. We can try the real bullet. Over there you can buy the real bullet and you can try the gun. You can buy at least 10 bullets with around 600,000 dollars. Bow down a bit and you sit down and then you can move. It's enough for all of us to try. You can have five options to try that tunnel. 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100 meters long. Yeah, you can chill. But I recommend we all try 20, that's enough. Because when you finish 20, your body feels like all 20 kilometers. It's very tired, it's very hurt. Your knee will feel the bad. So 20, that's enough. With the young people who, your, your, your knee, if your knee is good, have the energy, you want to try 100 meters. Good trace. You will become the soldier of that town. Okay? And, and you know what? So 20 is okay. And then we finish the tunnel, we can have some vegetable. It, we call tapioca. Have you heard about tapioca? Tapioca or cassava? Yes, exactly. Yeah, cassava over there. We can try. That's it, what we eat during the war. Because in the war, we cannot eat rice or noodles like nowadays. So we cook only the cassava over there. We eat during the war. And then get back to the car, take a nap, take a break on the car around two hours to go to Mekong Delta. And what do we do in Mekong Delta? We will have lunch. When we finish lunch, we will get back to visit the honey farm. Oh, I saw so much love about honey. We can try the honey from the beehive. You can hold the hive and you can try the honey from the hive directly. Very sweet, very fresh. And then we can have the small kennel, the small boat. We use the small boat to go to the small kennel. And then we have the coconut candy. 
pull up sweet thing, love candy. I will show you how can we make coconut candy over there. Yes, and you can try the coconut candy. And then get back to the car, back to your hotel. We finish around 4.30 p.m. at the evening. Is this good? Yes. yes. Thank you very much for visiting this factory and the handicapped workers here. This factory belongs to the Department of War Victims and Handicapped People. And we opened since 1976 to get jobs for the handicapped people to make a living and also to spread the culture of Vietnam. So here they would make the Vietnamese traditional art called light car product. And this art say no to plastic and chemical painting. Everything here is only handmade with natural materials. And now please follow me to take a look at what they can do. And you can take photos of brother and see and first of all, I would like to show you this design. There are two Vietnamese symbols you can see on this design. First, the Vietnamese traditional dress. You can see a long dress here. And in Vietnamese, long dress means ao dài. That's why we call this dress ao dài. And we paint red ao dài because red is the national color of Vietnam. A lucky and happy color. We also inlay some duck extra to make white ao dài here. I will show you clearer at the next step. The second symbol is the Vietnamese traditional hat, Nong La. In reality, Nong La is a big cortical hat made of bamboo and coconut leaf. But here we lay some seashell mother for to make Nong La. And the picture inside we use rosewood to make. You can hear the sound of the wood inside. Rosewood is the hardest of Vietnam, can resist many weathers. And we cover 24 layers of lacquer oil to protect the wood inside. That's why it's clear custom for all countries, for example, Australia or New Zealand. And you can see here we only hand paint. We don't use any more simple scanning or printing. So after finishing, everything is different. Although they are same design, but the details, the colors would be different. And then we move to the next step. This way, please. At this step, I would like to show you how the workers make the design from eggshell. You can take a look at the black oil here. This is the lacca. The lacca is the oil from the lacquer tree and it's Mikuka shield oil. The worker use the lacquer to cover and protect the wood. They also use the lacquer as the glue. The worker covers lacquer oil on the design. Then they crack eggshell, stick eggshell with the lacquer and make the design from the eggshell you can see over here. And here we have two colors of the eggshell. White from natural duck eggshell that you normally see outside, like this here, the natural white duck eggshell, and brown from the burning duck eggshell. And this is not chicken eggshell. Here we don't use chicken eggshell, we only use duck eggshell because duck eggshell is stronger and thicker than chicken eggshell. That's why we will burn the white eggshell to get the brown color like this. And normally we will use the color, the brown duck eggshell to make the design the tiger. You can see the burning duck eggshell over here. We also mix with some with another materials from eggshell. This is eggshell powder. Also two colors, brown eggshell powder and white eggshell powder. You can touch this picture over here to see the materials. You can touch it if you want to. And when you touch it, you can feel it's very rough. You can feel the materials like eggshell when you lay on the picture. <coughs> On this design, we will show you at the next step how the workers lay seashell. This is a seashell, the mother pearl. From the beginning, it will be big like this and also very strong. So we, mostly we will get the seashell from Hạ Long Bay, which is in the north of Vietnam. And outside, you can see many products from seashell like this in the market or in the theater north. But you might have no idea if they are made of the real seashell or not. So here, I will show you how to know which is the real seashell. You can put the seashell under the lot like this and you can see rainbow color. So you can see the rainbow color here. This is the real mother pearl. If you don't see any rainbow color, you only see what? That is plastic. So it's very easy to know. First, the worker will scan the design on the seashell like this. You can see a design of the bird here. Then they cut the seashell by hand saw. This is the hand saw. They cut the seashell by hand saw and they get the detail. Here you can see the detail they get after cutting as exact as the design. But actually, they don't cut the whole detail. They will cut the small detail and then they stick all the small detail together. For example, a lady wearing alia like this, you can see the small detail here, they stick all of them together to make the lady. And after getting the full detail, they lay seashell on wood with the lacquer oil, the glue that I have just shown you, and make the picture from seashell. And of course, it's a little bit rough here, like the design of the tiger. So we will polish it to make it smooth. 
And we polish the pictures over there. And here before washing, the workers will cover the lacquer oil on the whole design like this to fill the crack of the duct eggshell and to protect the surface of the seashell. Then we try pictures over there and then sunshine for two to three days until the lacquer oil dry and then start polishing. And here they polish three times. First time with brush stone, second and last time with sandpaper. We polish with normal water only. You can see the workers pour water on picture when they use brush stone and sandpaper to polish. You can notice over there while polishing the black oil is coming off so after three time polishing all the black oil will come off the picture will become very small like this and it's not rough anymore so we we'll move to the next step to take a look here so here i have a design of tiger this is a design tiger after polishing you can touch this picture here to see a difference before and after polishing so when you touch it, you can see it's very smooth and totally different from the tiger that actually before. So over here, you can touch and feel a difference. So when you touch it, you can see all of them is very smooth. But actually, to get the smooth picture like this, it takes the workers here one and a half a week, only for the polishing step to make the picture smooth like this. And after polishing, we turn to the final step, shiny, to finish the picture. At the final step, here. so at this final step, the workers simply use car cream to share the picture. But the special thing is that they only use their hand to share the picture. They don't, they don't use the cloth because the cloth will wash away all the car cream. Nothing remains in the picture. That's why you can see the workers over there. He only uses his hand to share the picture. This is a picture before shining, and this is a picture after shining. You can see the difference of the background very clear. This is a picture before shining and after shining you can see here. And after finishing, all the picture will be smooth and shine like this. And on the wall, you can also see the photos of the head of task workers who are working here. And they are here like this, we don't sell outside or online because we hope the, work, the visitors can come here to see, touch, know, and understand about the black car products and the handicapped worker job. And if you like a product like this and want to get something for souvenirs or gift, you can also take a look around our shop later. And once you get the products here, 16 percent of the money, we will support the workers here, support the handicapped workers and people affected by Agent Orange. And thank you so much for listening. Now you can come into our room and take a look around. Thank you for your listening. You can listen. You cannot take pictures inside the showroom, but I think the cheapest learned art is around $1,200,000. Alright, so now we move on to the Gucci Tunnel. The first burials is now from 1954 to 1965. Let's see the town without any US Army in here. Let's see the town for the North of people, they fight with the South people. It's the other town we call the Vietnam War. Let's see the War of Communism with the uh, Republican. Yes. And after 1965, the U.S. Army, they sent the army, sent the soldier, helicopter, the tank, the weapon, everything to the Vietnam to destroy this area. So after 1975, so 1965, so 1975, we call it the American War. I see the war of the North people with the South people and America. So we call American War at that time. Yes. And today we go to the tunnel. I will show you about the barrier too. The second barrier about the American war. That's how can our soldier, our people fight with America in here. When we arrive here, we can hear the words. I call it gorilla. You know gorilla? Gorilla, not the King Kong. That's it about the people. About the people who want to fight with the enemies. But in here, why we call gorilla? Because they not go to school to study how to use the gun, how to use the bomb, the grenade, anything. They just fight by themselves. So in here, we call the gorilla. All people here is gorilla. Yes, and the next word is VC. You know VC? VC? No VC? How about Big Kong? Big Kong, yes. Big Kong is mean VC. It's easier for you to remember. VC. Kong. It's about the soldier, Vietnamese soldier. But again, to clear about this word, VC, the Vietcong, it's not about the people, not about the soldier or the army. 
the VC is about ideology. If you are the citizen here, you are the people, people means people, you want to combine our country. Uh, sorry, you want to combine the north and the south into one. You can become the VC. So VC in your mind is the ideology, mm -hmm. not about the children. All people could be a VC. The children, the lady, a pregnant woman, the elder people, everyone can become gorilla and VC. <coughs> so in here is the place for our gorilla. Yeah. They hide the VC. They hide the soldier from the north. Yes. Soldier and I will show you over there. The soldier and why they have two barriers for the world. The world is only around 21 minutes or 21 years. But they have two barriers. Because the first barrier, American military they can control our country from their country. They just send a message for our president in the south. The president so at the top, we have two sides. The north side is led by Ho Chi Minh president. You know him, right? Everywhere. On the bill, on the wall, the hotel, everywhere we can see him. The first president in Vietnam. And other time in the south, we live by Golden Gate president. I see the first president in the south part of Vietnam. Yes. And the American, they just send the message, they send the money, send the support for the southern government. So they follow America. They said, if you follow America, you can have a house, money, a property, a car, everything. You can very rich. But some people don't want to follow America. They want to combine our country. So that's why some people follow America, some people follow communism. We have VC and the people who follow America at the time. Yes. And after 1963, we have, have you heard about the Burning Moon? Burning Moon? Yes, yeah, so in 1963, we have the people, the Buddhism. The Buddhist, he burned himself. He burned himself to say that Please stop the world. Stop the world, don't have a world anymore, and he tell with all the country on the world that now in Vietnam we are having the world with America. So please stop the world because at the time no one on the world they know about the world in Vietnam. So to release to notice for the whole country on the world about the world. Please stop the world. So after that, American they feel <coughs> it's not good. They think they cannot control anymore. So after that they have to change. Trends. They send the army, they send the weapon to Vietnam to destroy everything. They destroy everything in Vietnam. Why? Because our country, we have the good position. From Vietnam, you can go to China, India, Laos, Indonesia, everywhere. Vietnam is the city of Southeast Asia. So if you can control Vietnam, it means you can control the whole area in this area. That's why we have a war with a lot of countries like China for a long time ago, with French. Japan, Spanish, and America. A lot of country was come here, control this, this country. Yes. And after that, they, they sent the uh, army to come to Vietnam. And then we have the barrier too. Yes. Yeah, nakarating na kami dito sa Kuchi Tunnels and ito nga pala yung entrance niya papasok. So kung di kayo sa tour, siguro dyan yung bilihan ng tic ticket. Okay, let's go! Look at the map over there. The red area is the Koshi district where we fight the Americans at the main place. So, why we chose this area at the main place to fight the Americans? You look up to the north. Is it the red area? The red area is the mountain and the jungle. So, behind them is the mountain. So, no one will attack them from behind. We'll be safe from their back. And you look down to the north, to the south. The brown area. I see the side wall. So yeah, the old city in the world. So from it's the Saigon to the tunnel, it took around 45, 45 kilometers. Yeah, yeah, it's very close. So it took yeah. around two hours from here to go there. Very close. That's why it took this area. You see closer to the red dot? This area is all red dot. It's the tunnel entrance. 
the super engine and the black line here, the black line in the tunnel system. You can see all the engines is linked together. You come in by one side, you can come out by the other side. And in total, the main structure is take around 250 kilometers under the ground. But beside that main structure, we still have a small structure over here. First level small line over here. And the below area, this area is the headquarters of US Army, US soldiers, the headquarters. And under the headquarters of US Army, we have the turtle. That's how they win America. But after two years, after 1967, Americans realized about the tunnel. So they moved. They moved to the other area. They moved the headquarters to the other area. To change. Okay, and get back to the tunnel. You see the blue line over here? The blue line is the second river. I can say during the war, second river is like our soldier. If we need something, want to do something, want to escape or find something, just so go to second river. For example, when we build a tunnel, we dig a tunnel, we collect the sand and the clay. We bring to second river, throw everything into second river. Yes. Okay, and we can look. You see the tool, what we use to build a tunnel. This one is a very basic hole. Use a hole to find a soft soil. Because some soil, they have the rock, like this area, have the rock. They cannot build by the hand. So they have to find a soft area to build with this one. Sometimes they can use the hand or the spoon or anything that they can dig in. And they, then we collect the sand, the clay, in the basket. This basket we bring to the second river, to the second river over there. Because this area, second river is just right there, very close. So around 100 meters from here to go second river. A system. We have three levels inside the tunnel. One, two, and three. So the level one, it takes around three to five meters underground. The level two, it takes around five to seven meters underground. And the last one, the level three, only for emergency case, it's around 10 meters under the ground. So why we have three levels? The level one is square room like this, you can see. The square room is maybe the kitchen, the school, the class, the living room, bathroom, <coughs> bathroom, anything. They're living on level one. But when Americans, they find a tunnel. They drop the bomb into this area. So at that time, the level one will be destroyed. Everyone in level one can be died at that time. That's why we need level two. Level two is the triangle room. All level two is the triangle. Because they said with the triangle, it will be much stronger. It's stronger than the square room. So when they drop the bomb, just destroy level one. The level two cannot be destroyed. So when the man, they hear the sound of the helicopter, of the bomb, they will escape emergency to level two to live here. But you know, because later I will show you the tunnel entrance. It's very small. You can check with your feet. Maybe it's smaller than your feet. So Americans cannot go inside. That's why we will ask for the Asian Allies Army from Philippines, Thailand, Korea, Australia to come here, to go inside to the tunnel. So at that time, we can have level 3 to escape to the second river. But sometimes we not escape. We put the trap, like one trap here, one trap and one trap here. We put the trap everywhere inside the tunnel or outside the tunnel. When Americans, when the Asian allies, they go inside the tunnel, it will be trapped by inside. Yeah. And what we didn't do anymore? American, it's very easy to kill the people inside because I told you, it's very close to the second river. So Americans, they just take the river, and take the water from the river. They pour the water into the river. They pour the water to make flooding inside. So at the time, we will be died. So the first year, for around 2,000 people, they would die by the water. But after that, we changed. We will build a station. Build a station right here to keep the water. When Americans they pour the water into the tunnel, the river will follow the way to go to the station. And we keep this water, we can use the water. We boil, we steam to cook the food, to cook the vegetable, or we leave it here after four days. It will go to the soil. And from the soil, go back to the second river again. That's how we built here. And then look, one more tower over here. You can see, you know why it is? This room? The kitchen. So this room is the kitchen where we cook. We cook the food, the vegetable here. 
But you know, we cannot release the smoke, the smoke right here. Because if they see the smoke, they will drop the bomb into that area. So after that, we have the train, which will be the station. The station, this is where we release the smoke. Further than the kitchen, around 15 to 20 meters, always. Always 15 to 20 meters. When they brought a bomb into the smoke, they said they try around 5 meters underground. But so everyone can be safe from here. No one will be died. And in here, if you want to follow Gorilla, you want to become Gorilla, you have to follow three rules. I see speak no sound. Walk, no track. It means walk with the food rings. And cook, no smoke. I will show you how can we follow three this rule. Okay, and now go inside and explore this area. In the world, you can find the trap everywhere in the jungle. We put the trap outside here or inside the jungle, inside the tunnel. But as you can see, the trap, the point of the trap to scare the teammate. Imagine now we're staying in the jungle, it's very quiet. But when your teammate they fall down to the trap, they will scream. They scream and they will scare their teammate. The teammate for around 20 meters further there, they will hear the sound. They will ask, oh, where is the sound? Where are they? What happened with them? They will scare the teammate. They will be scared. They will ask, oh, where are the trap now? They will be scared. Yeah, later we go to the trap room. I will show you more around the entire of the trap. It's more common in this area. Okay, we can go where we shoot the enemy. In the bus, our gorilla they very small. They turn around 40 kilograms and they're 140 centimeters. So they did the step over there to stay there, shoot the enemy. And when the enemy they realize, oh, we're staying here. They're coming, we will change. From here, we have the small tunnel. You can stay over there to see. Easier. We can go immediately. We go inside the tunnel, we change the place. We go to the other area to shoot from the other place to make the enemies confused. We ask, oh, where's the bullets come from? Even if we lay down over there, you can see it's very, it's very small. You have to roll, you have to lay, and you cannot. It's very hard to move for us now. Mm. Even with Gorilla, he cannot move inside because in the world, we don't have enough nutrients, we don't have enough food mm. to get laid. So they're very small, very thin, and skinny. With them, very easy. Just lay down and they just move. But with us today, just have a look. If you go inside, you get stuck inside for. These are rare. Yeah. big is very easy for Americans they can see, right? But I can say in the world they have to camouflage. They camouflage the engines. They put the top, they put the tree, they leave everything on the engine to camouflage. But that area is big because it's for citizens. Because if you want to go inside, you need the password or the code to go inside. If you don't say the password and the code before you go inside, you put the grenade under the rope. When you open the rope, it will activate the bomb and it boom. So the citizen they cannot remember the password and the code. So they need some place like this to go inside. We have the soldier, the army, the VC, the military stay around here to protect them all the time. For them to go inside, to go to school, go to class, to study. Because other time the children, they cannot go to school. If they go to school, they will be bombed, they will be damaged when they study. So they have to come here, they study under the ground. And during the war, they said they have more than 80,000 people. They live on the ground, live together. In 20, uh, in 250 kilometers on the ground. And <coughs> sometimes Americans, they find a the tunnel, they know about the bomb. So they will open the rope from by the wire or by the tree something. And then they put the grenade, they put the bomb into the tunnel to put everyone inside. But we always build the room and the engine is further than at least 10 meters. So at the time, the grenade took the choice around 5 meters on the ground. So everything yeah. is still be fine. Yes. So I can say this area for the citizens. Yes. Temple air vent. Air vent to get the air inside the tunnel. And sometimes they will have the whole like 
this and that one have a big hole over there. Mm. Let's see the air vent for the people on, under the ground. But we have the camouflage for the air vent. The camouflage to become the terminus like this. In America, it's very easy for them to find the terminus because it's very big. So what did they do? They used the bulldozer or the tank to destroy everything on the way. So after that, we have to build more and more air vents. We have to camouflage more and more place like this. We camouflage for the landmine. So half inside is the air vent, but the other half inside is the landmine. When they use a tank or bulldozer to destroy the terminus, it will be foam over there. For example, this is a real one, but that one and the fake one. We put the landmine inside. When they destroy, it will be cool. So I can say during the war, everything we have to camouflage. Half is the real one and half is the fake one. We have no choice. But we need the signal to remember which one is the real one, which one is the fake one. But because it's very busy, there's a lot of signal. So sometimes we also forgot. So we forgot. So our soldier, our guerrilla, they also forgot, and they will be killed by their own camp. But we have no choice. We have to don't remember the password because if we can remember the password, the signal, it means American. They also remember the signal and the password. If we cannot remember, they can remember. We change every day. Today the password is one thirty, but tomorrow the password is three twenty one. So change every single day. Yes. That's how we can see the original tank of Americans will be destroyed in the world by our landmine. Yeah, and this is the original tank of American they use in the war. This is a very small one because here is the stronger. They cannot use the big one. They change the small one for three people to go inside. And you can take the photo, you can climb, climb on the tank, take the photo if you want. I think I'm going Picture, picture. Picture, picture. Picture, picture. Picture, picture. Picture, picture. Picture, Hello, three, point five, point five. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, two, three. Okay, 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 Okay. Okay. The first one called this will be hidden inside. You can see how his work. And then the last one will be called. Oh, that's so long. Whenever someone steps on the wall, they fall down and the light will be pissed. Imagine when you step to the trap, look, look. 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 Look, <laughs> the second one here called the living ampit. And the other one, the ampit, yeah. when you fall down, your hand one will try to will hold be something. One soldier will be weighing about 100 kilograms. They carry about 20 kilograms. And then from two sides, you take to your ampit. You cannot die, but Look, you have to living. fill the bed. And you cannot use the gun anymore. The one here your ampit is not ready. When you fall down, you can keep moving over there. If you're ever the watching, the like, your the footage of people, how they make sauces. Imagine like if human sauces. Sauce, <laughs> yes. This is the window trap. If you watch the Hollywood movie Rambo, yeah, Rambo after he come back from Vietnam War, yeah, he used the same trap. This one. <laughs> Here will be the folding chair. Imagine about a shack jaw. <laughs> This one here called the feed trap. The feed trap will be hidden inside the pit and it will be well hidden. When someone they fall down, yeah, their leg will be stuck here in the middle of the spike. And surrounding here will be the fishing pack. Human reaction, you try to pull your leg out, but with force. The more force you use, the more you will be hurt by the fishing pack around here. And eventually, they will give up. They come back to the hospital and carry the trap with them. So we have another nickname for this one. We call it the souvenir trap. <laughs> <laughs> this is the seesaw.
to find a trap everywhere or in every house of a citizen. A dog trap. Right? Yes, a dog trap. There's one over here called the maze. <laughs> the maze will be hang on top of the tree. Uh -huh. And the name the maze is, is like a medieval weapon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It will be connecting with a trip wire on the surface. When someone step on a trip wire, the maze will be released and they swing. Mm. And normally it will be arming for the head. So one full swing, it can knock you down or it can even kill you. Okay. 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 They will kick the door, they go inside. They will knock on the door, right? So when they kick the door, and from the top of the house, the trap, they will rolling and swing. It sticks to your body, like this. But why do they have two bucks like this? Because after a few years, Americans, they realize about the door trap. So out of time, they just use their hand or their gun to block the trap right here. And then they will be safe. That's why we have to change. We have the more the second part. If they block the first one, the first one will still keep rolling and sweet to the boss. Because you have to put the bed again. Okay? But sometimes they don't want to use this one, they use the ball as well. Balls can hurt the body. Yes, as you can look at here, all the spies we make from the bamboo shells. Oh, that's all, sorry. The bomb shells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I will show you about that. How can we reuse? How can we make the bomb shell? For five years now, we have been from the collection of the weapon, no explosion, and then they will be new. Again, there will be many, 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 so, see how can we reuse the bomb shell? The bomb America they use in the Vietnam War is more than the bomb that they use in Second World War. I say it's not the top with the bomb we use in Second World War. So when they drop the bomb, we collect all the bomb shells here, and we saw the bomb to take the explosive inside. But sometimes when we saw the bomb, they make the small hit, so that hit to active is lost inside again. So have a thousand and people that will die when they try to solve the bomb. But we have no choice. We have to collect the bomb shell, collect explosives, so we make the bomb, we add the new bomb, and we will add the spy, the landslide over there. Everything we make from the bomb shell. And we, when they make it, they have some water over here to reduce the temperature when they try to solve the bomb. Yes. Okay, let's so keep going here. I will show you the landmine. This landmine. This is a landmine from Russia. The landmine from Russia, they need the pressure. Need the pressure to activate the bomb. But here in the jungle. Sometimes in the jungle, they have the leaf and the tree. So it cannot activate the bomb. Yeah, please stay closer. That is free weight. Yeah. So in here, we have the chain. We put the trigger. Put the trigger into the bomb. We put the tree into the trigger. Then they use a tank or bulldozer to destroy this area. They will go on the bomb. They accept the shaker. That's when they accept the bomb. So we have to train the landmine from Russia like this to fit with our conditions, fit with the jungle here. Because for two year, first two years, we use the landmine from Russia, but it's not work. Because they have to train the lift, it blocks the bomb already. Because sometimes in the tank and bulldozer have a gap, you can see. That's why it cannot be. This area is run by the army. They send three bullets for you. So if you want to try to shoot, you buy the bullets, at least 10 bullets. Uh, it's around 600,000 dong. It's around 2.5 US dollar for one bullet. Yeah, and who want to try? Oh. One, two, three, four. Huh? You got it? Okay, so, okay who want to try? Just follow me over there. And who don't want to try? You can sit over here. Can I find, buy some drink, go not to the drink and wait me. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Thank you.
And ayun, katatapos lang namin mag-baril-baril there. Sobrang kakaiba yung feeling kasi first time ko magamit ng rifle. Rifle ba tawag doon? AK-47. And then, ano siya parang yung mabigat siya pero mapapatulong siya talaga kasi ang lakas nung impact ng baril. And mainit daw siya sabi niya mal kasi mali yung hawak nito sa isa. Pero pag hawak mo mismo yung, yung parang lagay ng bullet or yung mismo yung gun. Pero ikong nakaganya. It's so surreal the experience. Kasi kakaiba. First time kong mamawak na baril na gumagana. Hindi yung fake-fake lang na gan-ganan. <laughs> Ayun. So, nagpapahinga lang kami dito. And meron sa labas nung ano, baril-baril is yung um, restaurant. Yung firing range. Sa labas para firing range. So, ayun, papahinga muna kami and waiting kami kay Alvin. Bibili daw siya ng food. So, ayun, tayo. Eat! Sa experience ng baril-baril. Sakit na tayo. Sa experience niya, sakit na tayo. Hindi ko man lang kayo napanood. Tapos na pala kayo. Ang dami niya kasi tao na sa likod ko na. Yeah, this is how we build the tunnel here. How we dig the tunnel. So, they just find the soft area first. And then they just build inside. And from inside, they will find the way to link to that tunnel. So inside, they will find a way to go to the other area. They will find a way to build a room inside. Probably. Because sometimes inside, you just build around five minutes, not five meters, you see the rock. And then the chest again. So they ask me, who are designer for the yeah. tunnel, man, the tunnel system? You can say, no one are designer. Just uh -huh. designed by the local people. They just buy it every single day. They just keep going, keep going every single day. And who are the owner? Everyone is the owner. When you go to the local house, you ask them, do you have the tunnel in your house? Some people can say yes. Because from here, maybe you can go trade around 100 meter or 1 to 10 kilometer, go to the local house. They have the access over there. Because in the world, sometimes Americans will go to the house to check for something. At the time, they have to escape immediately. Escape from their house to the city. Do they have maps? No. No maps? That's okay. why one people they should remember around the area. Uh -huh. For around two kilometers around the house. So remember, they can remember all the city. Mm -hmm. Because inside in the world, you can see it's no light. So when can you light inside? They use a dynamic. Uh, how can we say I forgot? The dyna duo, dynamic dyna duo, I forgot, but it's a bicycle energy. Mm. Yeah, bicycle energy to have a bit light. Enough to read the letter, to read the world, to study inside. Yes. So now, I will show you the rules to become gorilla. Do you remember three rules I told you before? Yeah. Speak no sound. It means you have to do every activity without any sound. Do everything on the ground. Mm. Speak without a sound, have the signal aside. And then, Leaving it walk no track. Yeah. I will show you how can you walk no track here. <laughs> Deceiving Seepers Honor. Let's do recitation. Ano alam mo? Ano no no footprint. Footprint no smoke. Normally we will wear sandal by this way, right? We by this way and we move. So the footprint they will follow your weight. But in here, they wear the footprint by the other side. They wear by this side. So then the footprint, they will always sit with your way. That's how can we camouflage the footprint. But after a few years, Americans, they realize about the footprint here. So we will change. We change, we leave the last person. They go back with the teammates and they clean the footprint. That's how we hide the footprint in here. But we have to upgrade the sandal. We build the side. This one not clearly, but we will add more side here. So look at the footprint. They have two sides as well. So I kind of cannot know which one real one. They take us like two lines or three lines at the same time to make confused.
Yeah, this is the second room. How can we call it walking the train here? If you want to become gorilla here, you have to wear this sandal. <laughs> okay, and now we go to the main attraction in this area. Okay, and now main attraction, the tourist side tunnel. So how wanna try? If you don't try, I will give you the free ticket to go back to your hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Only one chance to try the tunnel here. I recommend we all try 20 okay. first. It's okay? Okay. okay. Who want to try 100? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now make sure don't forget, don't forget, don't drop anything in the tunnel. Your knee is good, your health, high pressure, high blood, everything is good. I will wait here at the seat over there. Where the red man is staying over there. So from here, this is a one way road. Go inside by this way, you can go down the other side. Okay, 20 meters. You can turn on your flash if you want. Okay. 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 After no to post the full weekend. Give me job and we put the Alvin. So it's going to end 100 meters. Yes, but they have more things here. In here we have three levels. So we just try level one. 30 meters up level one. And here is the seat of 100 meters. At the end of the 100 meters, we have the medical bunker here. Because they said when you finish 100 meters, you need to go to the hospital. <laughs> and at the end of the hospital, we have the level two. So mm. how wanna try level two? Level two is very short, turn around 50 meters. But they have the room. Do you remember? Triangle room. room. You can go to the room over there. So how wanna try? Very short one, very easy, don't worry. Easier than the first one. <laughs> oh, uh, I said. <laughs> so how wanna try go down, follow me here. Don't wanna try, just stay here and wait for me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Puro pwet ni Jing yung nakikita natin Guys, sorry nga sa pwet ni Jing Halina pwet ni Alvin, ganyan pwet naman ni Jing Jump up to see you 
It's a triangle room. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's it. na po ang sinamin kasama. Kami na lang po ni Jing na natira. So, ayan guys, ito yung mga tunnels na uh, dinaan ng mga Vietnamese. Saya pergi ke mana lah, nunggu lah, nunggu biar nampak. Kerabat. Ya. Ayah sabi mo. vegetable. I told you this is we call cassava or tapioca. So you can make it, you can try one by one and you dip in the salt. Here. Like this. To the small one. Use it under like a spoon. A spoon, make it up and eat it. Yeah, that's it. That's right. Turtle know the taste because it's like no taste, no flavor. So, the 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 we don't have the salt. We only have the tapioca. <laughs> With the salt, yeah, of course. Alvin, how much you want to try? Two years during a whole time. Because this is what we eat during the world, every single day, three times a day. Because we don't have enough time or material to cook under the ground. We just take the water, we boil it, and we steam the tapioca. That's all. And I told you before, they cook here, but you see no smoke over here, right? Because this build a station underground. They have from three to four stations underground to keep the smoke to reduce the temperature of the smoke and then release the smoke over there when they release, re release the smoke the air will be cool air because the cool air it will fly on the ground the hot air will fly to the sky so when they release the smoke it's a, a cool one so it's a fly around the land americans cannot see the smoke they cannot go to the sky this is the signature of the people here. This is how we call the coconut smoke in this area. Yeah, you can go there and you can see the hole is still here a bit hot, but the smoke cannot go to the sky. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, this is the smoke when they're out there. And that's the kitchen. So, the Americans, they don't see the smoke because here in 
Yeah. Because you have to have their prices for their down down. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, ito na yung end ng tour. Pabalik na kami sa van. And tapos na kami dito sa Kuchitane and we're going to Mekong River. Let's go! On our next video, we will take you to one of the world's great rivers and a vital part of Vietnam, Mekong River. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like and subscribe to our channel. This is part 2 of our Cuchitanos and Mekong River tour. And in this video, we will go on a boat ride in Mekong River, try some local food and fruits, and a lot more. So, na pang hinihintay nyo? Tara, samahan nyo kami sa aming adventure. Oh, yeah. 
Nakarating na kami dito sa Mekong River and we're going to the island to eat our lunch. So we're excited to eat there and let's see kung ano makita natin doon. May kasama po kaming valedictorian dito. Uh, ano, lagi po siyang ano, attentive to the, to the ano, tour guide and answers his questions first. Memorize the lectures, everything. Ano pangalan niya? Ha? Alvin Balanqui. You know, you know, we see you. So the first duty is to have the brown chef, the circle chef, right? Because in Vietnam we use the lunar cylinder. Lunar cylinder that we have the full moon. Full moon at around 15 and 16 days of lunar cylinder. You have the full moon. That's why we decide to have according to the full moon. And but if you look, you look inside, you can count. You count around. They will have exactly 16 row. Always 16 row. You can you can count like me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You can try, it's always sitting. Why is sitting? Because this hat they designed for the lady. And with the ladies and sitting years old, that's the best old, the most beautiful old in their life. That's the time that they realize they are very beautiful and they're ready to become the lady, the woman. So this hat they designed for the young lady. The young lady who is ready to become an adult. I see the limit for children and adults. That's why we have always had every hand they always have sitting round. They sell a sitting round. Some hand they can make with you like 15 younger, younger ladies. But now you are all in the most beautiful age. Sitting on your head. It's good? Yeah. Back to the top. Everyone wants to back to the top. So, kumakain na kami ng lunch and pinreparad kami ng, ano, ng ano ba yung appetizer <laughs> with fish and everything. So, masarap naman siya. Let's eat! Okay. Hop. Ah. na kami kumain and ayun naglilibot-libot lang kami dito sa area. Parang papaano ata yung mga honey and everything. Ayun, we're so excited. Let's explore this area. And this may be the first time you come to Vietnam. You see the traffic of the motorbike is very crazy, right? It's so complicated. It's like only one road. That's it's no road for the traffic. 
So why is very crazy like that? Because for a long time ago in Vietnam, we used the boat. We used the boat to move. And when they use the boat, they should go everywhere that they want. The left side, the left or the right, it doesn't matter. So they should go everywhere they want. So when they change to the motorbike, they keep the same mindset. They take all oh, the motorbike also same with the boat. So they should go everywhere they want. That's the reason why the traffic is very chaos. There's no road because they are used to with the boat. And then the young generation, next generation, which are, we used to with that traffic. So when we roll up, we live with the traffic that's very crazy. So when you ride a motorbike, crazy as well. So that's the reason why the traffic on, on the motorbike is very crazy. Because the boat here. You see the boat here? If you want, they ride on the left. If you want, they ride on the right. It doesn't matter. He don't care. He doesn't care about that. And in Mekong Delta, we have we don't have four seasons like normal. We don't have winter, summer, autumn, spring. Then we only have two seasons. I say the dry season and flooding season. Or you sometimes we can call it the dry season or rainy season. So now it's ready to go to the rainy season around April to November. That is the rainy season in here. And you also have two seasons, dry season and flooding season. You can look below to the river now. It's the flooding season, but now it's a flooding time. Afternoon and the afternoon is flooding time. If you come here in the early morning around 6 or 8 a.m., you see the water is much lower. It's lower than you see the whole tree over there. But afternoon, the water is higher. It's very much you look at the tree, you see only the half tree, not the whole tree anymore. That is why you look at the house and the season. When you build the house, it belongs to the river. They always keep the space for flooding season. That's why under below their house they have some stick, they have some bowl. I see the bowl for flooding season. And that's why flooding is kind of flooding higher than normal around one to two meters. So they always build the house with the bowl below to keep for flooding season. This is a very small one. If you can find a queen bee, you can move the whole hive. You catch the queen bee, you bring to your home. Who wanna try? Who wanna take it? Me.
After charming the snake, we were brought to his local village for some fruits and presentations from the locals. Tapos na ang ating Kuchi Tunnel and Mekong River Tour and we're going back to Ho Chi Minh and let's see kung saan tayo kakain later! Bye! And hello! So nakarating na kami dito sa Ho Chi Minh from our tour and ay kakain muna kami ng dinner here at McDo. Sobrang bagong bagong McDo. Hindi pa namin natitipan. So, alika na! Kain na tayo! <laughs> order namin here at Magda which is yung chicken with fish sauce and spicy yung pinili namin. Actually, pare-pares kami na in order. And this one, I forgot. Wait, I'll check the receipt. <laughs> um, grande kiwi yogurt. Yan. So, kakain na muna kami. And this ends our ano ba, third day here in Ho Chi Minh. Bye!
It's our fourth and last day here in Vietnam, and in this video, we'll just explore Saigon, buy some pasalubong, and visit the infamous building during the fall of Saigon. So, napangingintay nyo! Tara, samahan nyo kami sa aming adventure! Hello! Good morning, everyone! So, today is our fourth day here in Ho Chi Minh, and ayan! Ano na lang kami, pupunta lang kami around dito sa area since super random. Wala kami specific itinerary today. So, yun nga pala kakain na kami ng brunch which is yun po. And in this video, we'll just explore sa ito. So, let's eat muna. And this is the infamous building during the fall of Saigon. So, nang pangingintay nyo. Tara, samahan nyo kami sa amin. For Vietnam, is our restaurant inside Saigon. Hello, good morning everyone. So, today is our fourth day here in Ho Chi Minh. And the other day, it tasted sweet. Ano na lang kami, pupunta lang kami around dito sa area scene. Super random. Wala kami specific itinerary today. So, yun nga pala, kakain muna kami ng brunch, which is yung po, Vietnam. So, let's eat muna ngayon. Let's go. Po, Vietnam is a restaurant in Saigon, Sister Kwon, that serves traditional Vietnamese po. Like the po, we eat the other day, and they should speak. This one savor and beefy, like the po in North Vietnam. Ito po na in order po. Lalay sa akin yung patty beef yung Thai Morel. Hindi siya ganito katamis. Hindi siya matamis dito. Natikman kasi namin ibang po medyo matamis. Pero ito hindi siya matamis. Tapos may mga dahon na pipitas-pitas ka dito. Pipitas ka ng dahon. Then lagay mo siya. O yan, gusto mo lagyan na itong ano, beans. Ito, sprouts pala. Okay mo din siya. Yan. Dagdag gulay. Kasi para crunchy pa din. And then, lemon, ay, lime, dayap, sati, dayap. Ganyan muna, ati lang, ati lang. Sige mo na, siri. May dumang sa mama, isama mo na. Okay, ganyan. Halo-halo nyo lang yan, halo-halo. Ayan, dikwa na natin. Yan natin na may kasama gano'n. So, kakain muna kami and let's enjoy this meal. May duwang sa mama, isama mo na. Masarap ba yung kinain mo? Dada, hindi sobrang. Hindi sobrang sarap. Hindi sobrang sarap? Hindi ko nga naubos eh. Hindi ko nga sinasa eh. Hindi ko nga sinasa eh. Hindi naman yun sa akin. Hindi sa bao pa. Kanya. Simut sarap. Ding. Masarap ba yung kinain mo? Grabe, sobrang sarap ng po. Doon sa po, Vietnam. Highly recommended. So, we try nyo yan, guys. So, ayun. Pagpunta mo na kami dito sa loob ng Ventan Market. And we're gonna buy something for my mom. Kasi sabi niya, nagpapabili daw siya ng something. Kung may makabili man ako, kasi kakapanood niya ng mga vlog. So, itingnan ko kung makikita ko doon yung mga pinabili niya. So, balik tayo again dito. Grabe, sobrang sarap ng po. Doon sa po, Vietnam. Highly recommended. So ayun, pagpunta mo na kami dito sa loob ng Bentan Market and we're gonna buy something for my mom kasi sabi niya nagpapabili daw siya ng something. Kung may makabili man ako, kasi kakapanood niya ng mga vlog. So, itingnan ko kung makikita ko doon yung mga pinabibili niya. So, balik tayo again dito. Ayan, nakalating na tayo dito sa cafe apartments. And ayan, dito ay kinonvert yung mga apartments to cafe. Tara, pasok tayo. 
apartment was converted into cafes, salons, and restaurants. It has an amazing view of the Walking Street and the City Hall, especially at night. <laughs> Ayan, nakalagin na tayo dito sa Cafe Apartments. And ayan, dito ay... Ayan, so after namin mag-shopping center a while ago, we go here at the Apartment Cafe. So, maglalakad lang kami ng apartment was converted into cafes, Bandan salons, and restaurants. And then, it has an amazing view of the walking street to the city hall, hall especially at night. And then, makita yung Apartment Cafe. Ayan, yung Apartment Cafe kasi is that siya mga residential apartments. And then, kinonvert nila to cafes and Dito, madami kayo makikita ng mga cafes. So, dito, pumunta kami sa isang cafe, which is yung Meraki Cafe. So, ito siya, ano siya, like, uh, cute, cute stuff, Instagrammable cafe. Many, many flowers. Yan, so, kakainin namin itong in-order namin, which is uh, opera cake and matcha cheese. And then, this is the egg coffee and this very special coffee dough. Sabi ko, kanat coffee daw ka. So, let's try it. Katikman ko muna ito. Ayo. It's the kanat coffee. Lasang gata. So, kakain na muna. Kainin namin itong in-order namin. Which is opera cake and matcha cheese. And then, this is the egg coffee. And this very special coffee daw. Sabi ko, kanat coffee daw ka. So, let's try it. So ngayon, papunta kami sa grocery para bumili ng pasulubo for our families in the Philippines. So while walking papunta doon, nakita namin to infamous building which is dyan nga pala tumakas yung mga American forces during the fall of Saigon. So look at that! At yun nga pala, makikita nyo dyan yung picture ay add ni Marelli dyan kung ano yung sinasabi kong fall of Saigon and tumakas yung mga American forces. So this is the actual building, okay? The Philippines. So while if walking you look up Saigon on the internet, internet this picture will be the first building, to show up. This is where the last of the Americans evacuated and marked the end of the Vietnam War. It seems to be a private building now. So and to go to the top, the guard tried to charge us 200k dong each, nga pala, but we managed to bring it down to 100 yung picture. So we tried to get here in the building and we called the guard. We just need to you know, give it to you. And you're the one who wants to negotiate if you look up Saigon on the internet, this picture will be the first to show up. Floor, this is where the last of the Americans evacuated and marked the end of the American Vietnam War. It seems to be a private so, building now. To go to the top, the guard tried okay. to charge us 200k dong each, but we managed to bring it down to 100k. So, we tried to get here in the building and we called the guard. You just need to give it to you. And you're the one who wants to negotiate if you want to give it to the guard. So, here on the 9th floor, you can see this is the place of the American forces. So, we're going to go far. It's far away. This is it. Dito na ako sa grocery and we're gonna buy pasalubong here. And ito yung isa, yung croissant, which is yung snacks na binigay sa amin nung sa tour. So, that's a, let's try it. Ay, chocolate na wala. Ito yung chocolate, hindi ko si Aldi. Gonna buy everything. Gonna buy everything. <laughs> Let's try it. Gonna try. First try. Okay. Pinayan. Okay. 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 Okay.
Uy, bukas sa lang natin. <laughs> Bayad na kami. May itong mga pinamili namin. Let's go. Dami namin kape. Puro kape lang. <laughs> so, tapos na kami mag-grocery para sa aming pasalubong. And kumain muna kami dito sa mall since katabi lang nung uh, supermarket yung ano, kinainan namin ngayon. And after nito, uwi muna kami para iwan yung gamit and magpapahinga. And see you na lang later. Mamaya sa airport. Dami namin kape. Puro kape lang. <laughs> so, tapos na kami mag-grocery para sa aming pasalubong. And kumain muna kami dito sa mall since katabi lang nung uh, supermarket yung ano, kinainan namin ngayon. And after nito, and then dito kami ngayon sa Tanzon Tat uh, Departure Area since babalik na kami ng Manila. And it's around 10.25 p.m. here and we're already ready to go back to the Philippines. So this is our fourth and last day and here in Ho Chi Minh and we're going back na. So thank you and please subscribe and like our page. Bye! And then dito kami ngayon sa Tanzon Tat uh, Departure Area since babalik na kami ng Manila. And it's around 10.25 p.m. here and we're already ready to go back to the Philippines. So this is our fourth and last day and here in Ho Chi Minh and we're going back na. So thank you and please subscribe and like our page. Bye!